So you're thinking about making that move to San Antonio, Texas, and you're wondering, what are the top five best neighborhoods? What are the schools? What are the amenities? How can I get to work fast? Now, all of those would be great questions. Now, I'm not supposed to come up with this list by myself, so I did talk to past clients. I went to Sperling's and I took the top five best area neighborhoods from popular districts in the Alamo City. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them up on a map as we go along here, and you'll be able to search the site yourself and check out all the categories on any city and any state. Hey, y'all, welcome back. We're gonna kick things off with the top five best neighborhoods in San Antonio, Texas. Let's go. Hey y'all, what's going on? This is Mina Slaughter, and if this is your first time visiting this channel, it's all about what it's like to live in San Antonio. Now to eat, sleep, play, breathe here, everything you need to know from the up, down, left, and right. Now if you're not new here, welcome back. Make sure y'all hit that like button. It's gonna help anyone else looking for this information to be able to find these helpful videos. Now go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tap that notification bell, and you'll get notified anytime we put out a new video on this channel. Now we get so many people reaching out every single day who are thinking about making the move, they're determined to make the move, or they're already here looking for a place that best fits their lifestyle. Whatever the case may be, go ahead and reach out to us, give us a call, send us a text, shoot us an email, or schedule your own Zoom in the link down in the description below. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back when moving to San Antonio, Texas. So why are these communities on the list we're about to talk about? So we get asked this all the time, but what are the best neighborhoods to live in for families and where are the best neighborhood areas to live in San Antonio? And I'm going to tell you, it really boils down to you. It's going to depend on who you are, what you like, and where you want to be. I could pick the most perfect place for me, but you might go there and totally hate it. So it might be a little bit of a tough spot there. However, open lines of communication, talking about your needs and wants and the amenities that you need, that's gonna be crucial. So we've helped hundreds of clients move and relocate here and buy houses and it always starts with communication and location. You hear what's going on here, the Asian location, location. And then we focus on the house. So I'm gonna go through this top list of five things and we're gonna talk about places, why some of the clients that I've helped move here in the past, what they like about the area, what's going on in the area, what are the amenities in the area. So we're gonna take a look at the map as we go along here. Also, I've checked Spurlings, checked the MLS, and these are the places that have ranked as being the top contenders for area favorites. So we should point that out. So some of the reasons why is they're close to the military bases for folks who are PCSing in and out, has really easy access to major highways, there's tons of employment, tons of major companies around shopping, food, stores, top rated school districts, and at the end of the day, it just checks a lot of boxes for a lot of families. So our number one on our list is gonna be Alamo Ranch. Now, Alamo Ranch is located outside Loop 1604 near Highway 151 and Calabria Road. Now, I used to live in Alamo Ranch, and I can tell you it has grown astronomically. It used to be all farmland, and it used to be what's considered the outskirts of town. I mean, there's a place over there called National Skeet Shooting Complex that still resides there today, and there's tons of new home builds all around it. So if that's not something you're looking to be around, I would consider that when relocating to this area. Now, when I was younger, you used to be able to run through the land out here on four wheelers and go dove hunting, collecting rocks and sticks, and just really having that country feel. Now it's one of San Antonio's master pink communities on the far west, northwest side of San Antonio. So the community is actually broken up into subdivisions and there's a wide variety of different homes, different home styles and price ranges. You'll see homes ranging from the 250 side all the way up to the 600 and even higher. So it's really just gonna depend on what area you wanna be, what your amenities are, and what you're looking that best fits your lifestyle. So some of the area neighborhoods, they're gonna include Valley Ranch, Winding Brook, Callison Ranch, Redwood Ranch. Now there's the trails, the hills, Santa Maria, the terraces, the preserve, the summit, and there's so many more I could really go on all day. So the residents out here you're gonna find are extremely diverse. You'll see a lot of military coming and going, PCSing. You'll see a lot of retirees, veterans, first time home buyers, and families that are looking to upsize or downsize. So it really gives you a small neighborhood feel out here and it gives you a lot of atmosphere and there's a lot of growth going on. You'll see a lot of new home construction as it's extending outward uh, past 1604. 
going down Calepa Road, you'll see a lot of new shopping areas and more schools being built. And it actually happens to be NISD, which happens to be Northside Independent School District. You have really good access to Loop 1604 and Highway 151, which will really get you anywhere you need to go in the city. And it's really become a hot spot for people who are relocating and want to be in this popular area of the city. So that's topping our number one on our list of top five best neighborhoods in San Antonio, Texas, and that's Alamo Ranch. So number two on our list is going to be Stone Oak. Now this is a neighborhood that sits on the far north side of San Antonio outside Loop 1604 on the west side of Highway 281. Now it was previously ranch land and it's now considered one of the largest and most highly sought after neighborhoods on the north side. So this neighborhood is really for affluent commuters and the neighborhood is a real suburb type. So there's a lot of unique master plan communities. They have a lot of HOAs, multiple HOAs. They have gated access to enter the communities. There's a lot of neighborhood amenities such as pools, parks, playgrounds, green spaces, bike trails, clubhouses. So a lot of options in that arena. Now, there's many businesses and shopping malls, and then there's the shops at Sentara, real high-end shops, and Stone Oak. A lot of restaurants, and there's parks such as McAllister Park and Eisenhower Park, so you can go outside, stretch your legs. Um, there's a large medical facility out here, multiple different hospitals to choose from and medical care. Um, the school district out here is Northeast Independent School District. It's A-plus ranked schools. You've got elementary schools like Stone Oak and Hardy Oak, high schools like Johnson and Reagan, middle school, Barbara Bush Middle School, just some naming some of them out there. Uh, the community, it's really large and diverse. So the subdivisions really range from the low 300s all the way up to the high end in the 2 million range. So it really depends on the area, the location, and the amenities that you're looking for you and your family. So some of the neighborhoods that are out here that are notable are canyons, the canyons, the glens, Stone Oak Meadows, Stone Oak Park, the forest, Panther Creek. There's really a lot I can tell you about. Timberwood Park out there. Lots of, ch lots of choices. So one of my local favorites to visit when I do go out that way to show some properties or just to visit is Copa Wine Bar. Now it's really unique. It's inside of a shopping center. It's two story. They have a lot of tapa appetizers, um, tons of different wine. They make homemade sangria. The folks there are super nice. You can kick back, listen to some music. It's just really unique dining option for really any day of the week. You don't need to wait till like Thursday or Friday to go to it. So you can bring your kids if you go early enough as well. So pretty nice out there in Stone Oak. So that's bringing us to our number two on our top five neighborhoods in San Antonio. That's going to be Stone Oak. So sitting outside Loop 1604 on the northwest side of San Antonio lies our number three spot, and that's Holotus, Texas. So Holotus, Texas has tons of history and background, and most people don't even realize it's sitting right in their own backyard. So the town was actually Americanized to the word Holotus, which originated from the Spanish, meaning a term of ilotes or olotes, meaning corn on the cob. Now that was originated back in the late 1700s and they do believe that it was actually derived from the Lipan Apaches who lived and harvested on corn on the cob in all the fertile valleys and the rivers that are now famously known as Holotus Creek, Calabra Creek, Los Reyes Creek, um, Branch Creek, and Chimeneo Creek. So from there, Holotus has been really a staple of San Antonio and most people don't know it was the last hitching post to give your horses water to get to Bandera, Texas. So Holotus has been named as the number one place to raise small children and has A-plus schools at Northside Independent School District such as Holotus Elementary and O'Connor High School. Now there's tons of quaint shops, stores, parks, and there's even a disc golf park if you're into that kind of stuff. So Holotus has outdoor market events every single month and it's called Old Town Market Days. Now this is on the first Saturday of every month from 10 to 5. You can go out there and there's pop-up stores, little tents, and you can experience stuff like buying local produce, um, you know, cuisines, artifacts, um, handmade treasures, arts and crafts. I mean, you can experience the Holotus Carnival in the spring and the Celtic games. There's tons of parades throughout the year. And if you're looking for something for your nightlife, there's Floors Country Store. Now, just know, we know you're from out of town if you don't call it anything but Floors. So this is actually the musical birthplace of Willie Nelson, and it's held so many of country legends like Patsy Cline, uh, George Jones, Waylon Jennings, Dwight Yoakam, and so many, I can't even name them all. 
But we love going here. We love eating some tamales before the show, having some homemade bread and an ice cold beer. And then we get to sit back and watch some of our favorites. So we've seen some favorites out there like Dwight Yoakam and Randy Rogers. You can get really close and really up personal or you can get VIP and get a table. It's pretty cool. So the homes out here, they're really sought after and they're actually up 1.5% from last year. So on average, you'll see on the low end of 300,000, the average price that sells here is about 400, 450,000. So here in Holotus, you'll have really easy access to Loop 1604 and you'll be able to get to your job area locations like USAA, Valero, the Medical Center, Joint Base San Antonio, and other major companies. So that's gonna be wrapping up our number three on the list, and that's Holotus, Texas. So let's start on number four of best neighborhoods in San Antonio, and that's gonna be Cibolo Canyons. Now you're gonna find this neighborhood situated at Boulevardy Road and TPC Parkway, right off of Highway 281 on the northeast side of San Antonio. So Cibolo Canyons is a master plan community and they have over 900 acres of notable space just for the wildlife to roam around and it gives you the real lush feeling of the open Texas Hill Country space. It's beautiful, it's really quiet, very clean, very nice place. So here you're going to find single family homes, luxury homes, garden homes, amenities like gated communities, swimming pools, lazy rivers, clubs, parks, playgrounds, sports courts, all kinds of stuff. Here on average sale of the price ranges, you're gonna find 315,000 all the way up to 1 million. So it's really gonna depend on location, where you wanna be and what you're looking for. So some of the most notable neighborhoods in this area are gonna be Omarosa, Campanas, Cibolo Canyons, Estancia, Palacios, Sueños, Vallitas, Ventanas. I know I missed a bunch, but that's just to name a few. So the residents out here, they really love going to areas such as TPC Golf Course. We've got that in the area. They host two PGA tours every year. There's the JW Marriott, San Antonio Hill Country Resort and Spa. Great to go out there, get a splash in the pool, have yourself a cold drink, enjoy the sun. There's really a lot of growth in terms of new home construction, shopping areas, schools. So the school district out here is the highly rated Northeast Independent School District. So again, your kids will attend schools like Tejeda and Johnson. You should know that as past a certain area on TPC Parkway, the school district actually goes over to Judson Independent School District. So if you're looking to be close to really numerous amenities, shopping and dining, if you're looking for lots of different choices and gated communities, if you want to be in really top rated school districts and really quick, easy access to the highway, then you're going to agree with me when I say that our number four and best neighborhoods in San Antonio is going to be Cibolo Canyons. So let's finish it off with our number five best neighborhoods in San Antonio, Texas, and that's going to be Alamo Heights. So Alamo Heights was established in 1922 and it was located four and a half miles from the heart of San Antonio. The city is adjacent to the popular areas of Terrell Hills and Elmo's Park. Here you're going to find homes that range in so many different styles, from small charming cottages to Renaissance Revival to Art Deco to Mediterranean manors. I mean, there's all different kinds of newly constructed homes and lovingly restored homes. So many of San Antonio's most wealthy residents reside in Alamo Heights and property ranges in 600,000 all the way up to the 2 million plus. So it's really gonna depend on where you're at in Alamo Heights. Now residents here really love the high-end shopping, dining options, and many entertainment venues. There's the Alamo Quarry Shopping, the Quarry Village, Lincoln Heights, Central Market, Whitney Museum, the Zoo, the Tea Gardens, the McNay, the Botanical Gardens. There's so many things in the area. So adding to the prestige of the area is the top-notch school district, Alamo Heights Independent School District. So my nephew goes here and they have a swanky skybox as air conditioned for the season ticket holders and parents that wanna watch the, you know, the students play in the hot sun, it's wild. So people here are really willing to pay a premium to live in a home in Alamo Heights School District lines. So being a top rated school, the student rate at 95% has won almost every award in the book and goes off to college. So the academic department also is top notch. So let us know what you think, folks. Message us down in the comments. Let us know what you think about those top five. Let us know if you have any questions. And that's wrapping up our number five on our list of top five best neighborhoods in San Antonio, Texas. So I just gave you the top five best neighborhoods to live in San Antonio, Texas. Keeping it real with you, letting you know where the schools are at, what the price points look like, the area amenities, not to forget to mention all these other things you'll most likely experience if you're making your move out to San Antonio, Texas. 
Now look, if you've made it this far and you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that like button. It's going to help anybody else find these helpful videos. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and tap that notification bell and you'll get notified anytime I put out a new video on this channel. Like I said in the beginning of this video, we get so many people reaching out, whether they're looking to make the move, they're determined to make the move, or they're already here and they're just looking for a place that best fits their lifestyle. Whatever category you fall under, go ahead and give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back when it comes to living in San Antonio, Texas. Now stay tuned. We've got more videos coming at you right now.